All right, I think it's going. Are we on there? Out here, out here doing some grilling outside the camper. And uh, I was thinking, I was out here in Texas talking to a gentleman earlier this afternoon, a local out here, and you know, we were talking about politics a little bit and about what's going on and, and, and he was he was kind of a kind of a redneck Texan, I guess you would say, and we were having a nice conversation, just kinda of talking shop and I was talking gun rights and I was talking liberty and patriotism kind of stuff and, and he was kinda of like, Well are you you some sort of a radical? Because I, I mentioned militias and patriots and things. Now I would say that this man probably considered himself very conservative, uh, patriotic kind of person. And I'm not going to say he's not, but, but we're talking, and I'm talking about gun rights and things, and I say, you know, it, they, they foist these narratives on us. And even at the state level in Texas, I said even in Texas, they're, they're enforcing these gun laws, these gun restrictions that they have no right to enforce, everything from, from this to that. And he's thinking, he's saying to me, well, you know, it's not a big deal. I got to do just go down and pay him a few dollars and I get the permit. And I said, well, that's not what the big deal is. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to educate and have a, you know, make him think about this a little bit. Right. And, uh, Hey guys. And, and so we're chatting and I said, it's not about the few dollars. It's about the fact that your government is making you get a permit for those rights. That's what it's about. It's about the fact that they think they have the authority to do it. Hi, David. Hi, D. So, so I say, you know, they, they say somebody's a felon, and he's, he's uh, now he doesn't have any rights, right? And he says, well, I don't want felons to have guns. And I say, really? I say, I, I want all the felons that are out to have guns. And he says, oh, well, hey, I'm going to pick up the phone. He says, I'm going to call a bunch of my felon friends down here, and we're going to sit around and drink beer, you know, and, and, with guns and, and see how that works. And I say, well, okay, that's fine, I say. And he was kidding around, you know, it was fine, but, but he didn't understand this. And I don't think it was through any malice toward the Constitution. What's happened is we've just become ignorant. We've become completely ignorant of our rights. Now, I'm working on the new book, and it's coming along good because it's a fairly short book, and we're, we're getting down to the bare bones of law. We're getting down to the bare bones of what law is. Governments, governments don't make law. And, and that's what we're going to prove in the new book. Governments can make law within law, but at the root of it, at the core of it, governments, hang on, i got to check my food here, governments do not make law. The law and our rights, those already exist. They're already fundamental. And so you think about this, and you start nailing it down, and what I'm struck with is, as I'm writing the book and, and laying all this stuff out in, in simple form is how simple law truly is. And so I'm talking to the gentleman and we're talking about felons and I start making my case and I say, well, wait a minute. You know, he was, he was kind of believing in the system, right? And, and I could tell he believed in the system. And I'm saying, well, hold on. You've got all this stuff going on and you got the corruption in the courts. He had, he, I could tell he had no concept of how bad it really was. So he still operated under the assumption that, well, we're mostly free, right? The problem is we're not. And he said, well, I don't want the felons to have guns. I say, the government has no authority. It's not a question of what we want. I say, if you paid off your credit card, right? You have a credit card, you owe $1,000, and you pay that card off, can they keep charging you interest? And he's like, well, no, you got a point. I say, the, the felon used to be a capital crime, right? If felons weren't walking around the streets. Now they keep moving the bar back. And so they're using fear to sell us slavery. They keep moving the bar back of what it means, guys, to be a felon. So the government has zero authority ever to deny a free man's right to his guns, to his arms, to protect his family. You know, somebody in Washington, right, it's a felony if you run from a police officer. So 22-year-old kid, right, he's, he's out getting into some trouble. He runs from a police officer. Now he's 40 and he's got three kids and a job and he can't protect his family because he's a felon. So we have two problems. The first of all, those, those aren't felonies. Felonies are, in fact, capital crimes. So they make everything they want to a felony, especially the feds. They do this a lot. And look at our patriots, our political prisoners. They're charging them with felony possession, felony this, felony that. Most of the people that are felons, the felons, felonies are fake, guys. 
and even the people that perhaps, perhaps committed a real felony, if you've paid your debt, whatever that was determined to be through due process, which also doesn't exist anymore, if you pay your debt, the debt is paid. The government has no authority to say, well, you paid your debt, but you still have to keep paying your debt. So of course I want felons to have their rights to guns because the felon is a made up term in our society. I don't want evil people to be out on the street, but you don't protect a society by restricting guns. How many, how many abuses, how much corruption do we have to see before we stop being hypocritical in our standard? We say, oh, well, we gotta have our guns, except the felons, right? We don't want them to have their guns. Well, do you even know what it means when they say they're a felon, when the court says you're a felon? A lot of our finest patriots are coming out of this system after they've stood up and they're coming out felons because we have states that are tolerating illegal federal government laws. They're enforcing illegal laws and they're making illegal laws of their own. And this is happening in Texas, in Washington, in Oregon, in Montana. It doesn't matter where you go, your sheriffs, because they refuse to defend the Constitution, are instead defending and allowing to be prosecuted fake law from a federal government as well as state legislatures that have no authority. The people collectively do not have the authority to take away a man's rights. If a million stand up and vote to take away your property for the good of the whole or your rights for the good of the whole, it has no more authority, it has no more authority than if one man stands up and demands that a million give up their property. It's law itself, guys. So I'm just kind of thinking out loud, talking to people out here on the road, seeing what they're thinking, and I'm realizing that we have so much ignorance, we really don't even know what law is. And we're, we're in sin a lot of times because we're willingly ignorant. We're like, oh yeah, it's kind of bad, but you know, at least we got Trump now, right? It's going to be better. And so we're looking for ways for it to be okay so we can ignore the fact that most of our prison population is there illegally. So we can ignore the fact that people like Lavoie and thousands of others are being killed on the road by police who think they're judge, jury, and executioner. And so as people say they're for law, they attack viciously those like my family and like you, your family when you stand up. You oppose the corruption like we did down south a little bit a few days ago. Thousands of people commenting vulgar, lewd comments attacking me, attacking my family. You know, get out of our state. We don't need you. We don't want to. I'm, I'm, and I'm thinking, guys, you don't understand. Not only did I not break any law and the police did, I'm proud of what I did because I stood up for something. We need to find our inspiration and we need to stand up for something. We need to quit worrying so much about what people think. We just need to worry about, about liberty, what's right and wrong. I worry about what, what God thinks of me. That's my standard. We've got to start making it normal to stand up. The problem is it's so abnormal now to stand up. It's so normal to say, well, it's not perfect, but it's mostly good, and at least we're still free, even though we're not. Thanks, Charles. Even though we're not free, people convince themselves that it's okay, and therefore those that stand up, and this is the worst of it, not only do the civilianry not stand, they attack those that do, because if they admit that those who stand are correct, then they admit that they themselves are cowards. That's what it's about. The thousands of people that are asleep down here in Texas, attacking me and my family because we called out their corrupt police down in Clute, what it really comes down to, and most of them aren't even going to admit this to themselves, they've allowed themselves, they've willingly allowed themselves to be blinded and brainwashed so they don't have to deal with it. Because if they recognize the truth, they will either have to stand up and oppose our system of blue lines and corrupt politicians and unjust courts and judges, or they will have to recognize that they are cowards. We need to find courage, we need to be inspired, we need to go out, pick up a camera, pick up our voice, show up at the prison, show up at the courtrooms. We need, guys, to turn the world stinking upside down. That's what we need to do. That's what it's about. Freedom, freedom is protected by a people who stand up, not by a people who wait for government to keep them free. All right, we're gonna go have dinner. You guys have a good night. Keep the love alive, keep spreading the message, and love your neighbor as yourself. Oh, 
You what? You gonna say hi? We're almost ready for dinner. There they are. Say hi, Titus. Yeah. <laughs> He's ready for some food. You guys take care.